the, the struggle with autism is like, you, it's not, it's never in you. You still gonna continue like, like living, living with it. So it's like, before, before I even tell you like what I'm doing now, it's like, what I come to realize is that like, with, with people like I, like me with like your your typical like minds right now, it's like you see you see things differently. Mm. Whilst normal whilst normal people will will look will look at like a, a, a t like will look at like an elephant and just say it's like an elephant, but for like for me, I feel like it's like you can sort of like see the story behind that you see. Yeah. Wow. Wow. So it's like. So it's like you can you see more of the details than like no, on, like than no than no, no, most normal people would you see. That's how I feel about. But also like I've learned to embrace it because like embrace the autism honor because with that I can see that like I'm like, like with that I can see that like not only am I like even in even in varsity even in varsity because like I'm in UJ now. So it's like, so it's like, so it's like even even though even though like like I don't I don't I don't make like special concessions to to like to get to like get like to make it make, to make it feel as if I'm special, but but in like I still but I still like I still try to like be like try and act like try and like be like your normal person in university, but. It, and then, like, then sometimes you find out that, like, I, in some cases, I even beat my peers in some cases. Yes. Now, but, and in terms, and for those of you wondering what course am I, that I'm doing, it's like, I'm doing computer science on now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mama, whatever I say. Trevor, thank you so much, and all the best. You'll be coming to the graduation, definitely. Thank you. Yes. Yo, Mama, I, I want to thank you. Thank you so, so much. Um, yo, you know, this was a special day. More than the book launch. More than the book launch. More than the book launch for me. It was, you know, names and aside. As I was writing this book, Uncle Uncle deposited the name Trevor. Uti, remember, where did your journey begin? I'm like, I thought it began with my son. Uncle Uncle was no, your, your journey didn't begin with your son. It began with that boy called Trevor. And I wrote Trevor. You know, medically, we're not supposed to write about the people in the book. Confidentiality, eh? Yo, now, no, sa upali, le upali Trevor. Agatola na i consent from a man. If my deep in tea, in the because there's no way that book is going to go without me getting the permission to tell Trevor's story. It's because Trevor, when I met him, he was six years. Yeah. He was six years. Yeah. At the time, it was 2006, and Upo Musa had not been diagnosed when I saw Trevor. I think my son got diagnosed later in the year because I was still working at Natal State. So then, to fast forward, uh, Utreva was one of those kids who could spell backwards. But email, Maruit Alaka K R I L R I R N. I go. Billboards, he can spell. He's, he's very, he was a good speller. He was highly, highly intelligent. And I thought to myself, no, not as Nenem. Because if we put him there, he's on the same level. He deserved a very good school. So that's when I pushed the team. You take this child. You you take this child. So God reminded me the faith in terms of where your autism journey and it's the, where it started and it's still continuing. And may we find more clevers out there. And I'm really, really proud of you, Mama, for all that you have done to get your son to that level. It, it requires a lot of dedication and the love and the support. Thank you, thank you so much. Let's give them a round of applause.